Hello everyone, we're going to be doing a quick little tutorial today and it's going to be creating equipment. Now I have, sorry, uh, prepared three different items being the Farron Ring, the Frayed Blade, and the Santhos Overcoat. Now I don't particularly know which order they are, so it's going to be Frayed Blade, Overcoat, and then the Ring. So I just grabbed these images off uh, quick Google searches, and as you can see that the Baron Ring does have a base. Now we could easily get that one out if we want to keep it in line with the other things that we have. But um, really quickly, I'm just going to be going on how I make equipment. So I have created, so I could do open recent, um, things like blank ring, blank armor, blank weapon. So for blank weapon, you know, this is what it looks like. And I'm going to be posting these to the imager shortly after this video. So if you wanted to make them, you could make them too. And they're all, again, going to be JPEGs. But it's going to come along with the icon sheet that I have made here. So it comes with the base and all the little things you're going to need. Uh, you know, I have one, two, three, four, and minus. And I also have a blank if that's what you prefer to use. I also have all the class gear. Uh, regular and legendary, you don't have anything for bosses, two-handed, one-handed, and armor. So everything that you need is going to be right here. So we got um, effects, special actions, and of course, most importantly, the dice. So for going in, we're going to say, let's start off with the free blade. So first thing you want to do is you want to get your base and you want to get your item, your well, obviously the weapon. So I went ahead and I already found the weapon, and then I spent a couple of minutes making it uh, transparent. Now, um, if you're going to make it transparent, what you got to do is you got to take the image and you have to clear the background, so you get this little uh, square background. If you don't have a square background, it could create issues, but universally, square background means it's transparent. So what we're going to do is that we just. Uh, paste it in and I forgot to copy it. Photoshop, you have to make sure that you have selected the layer to freight blade and we're going to put it in. We're going to shrink it down and we're going to put it in. So it'll look like that. Now, for, oh, my bad. This should be close to that. This is what it should look like. If you ever need reference, you can always look at how it looks in the game. So I set it up here already. We do have zero range. This, 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 you know, everything's already set up. You know, it's, I could go into detail about, you know, how setting it up, but I think going on from where I'm about to go on, you know, it saves a lot of time. So I did choose for it to be legendary gear because I'm going to make this pretty good. And this is already we can see that you know I put in two and I put in four. Now in the blank cards I'm gonna remove that. So I mean use to your discretion. Uh, I, for what I did here is I just took Optimus Princeps again and I just you know I made it blank and I put in open bracket two close bracket. Now I'm using the square brackets as of course instead of the regular parentheses. So we're gonna come over here, and I'm gonna pick this. It's gonna be the blank uh, dodge icon. So you can see, you know, I could also remove this if I wanted to. Like I said, I, I did already have this set up. I'm just gonna place it right on top. And I'm gonna want this to be a pretty good item. No, I, I'm uh, currently working on challenging the challenging the meta. So I'm gonna get a particular color I want right there, and I'm just gonna change that color, make it darker, make it more pronounced. And once I get to positioning that, like that's it. Uh, doing dodge, it's pretty easy, especially with how I set it up with having it blank. For the other ones, you know, it's, it is a katana, so I 
but I still want to have uh, some kind of defense on it. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. So I'm going to give it one black dice. I'm getting confused with all this, man. All right, so just put it on top. And we're going to need to pick up a white color. We're just gonna put in one. Like that. So for these, again, I'm gonna keep it blank. But what I have here, it's already set up. So you know, for a blade in Dark Souls Three, it's it's pretty pretty good. It's pretty beefy. But it is a katana, which means we do really really put up that dex. And uh, I'm going to give it an interesting stat for strength. I'm going to put it at 27. And it is a magic dealing, you know, with all of its weapon arts. So I'm going to go ahead at 30. I'm going to leave Faith out of this particular equation. So at this point, I mean, you've, you've done most of the work. So up here, you know, I, I have a, a zero that I've already placed in. And with a zero, you know, you could put the dash if you're making it an armor, which we will later. But for a freight blade, I'm going to give it one, given that it's uh, two-handed and all of its weapon abilities. <clears throat> so, save, always save. Now, at this point, weapon's pretty much done. All I have to do is figure out what I'm going to be doing for the attacks. Uh, for save of time, I'm just going to do the first one. First one I'm going to have as one of the weapon art arts, which is why I put it already at two. And I'm going to add in one of my repeats again, which could be found on you know, the icon sheet right here. Uh, it's just so happens I already had it on. So on this particular one, you know, I'm going to want to give two. For example, let's just say for again sake of argument, 24 seems to be a little bit small, so I'm going to place it in as close to the center as I can. 30 and yeah 30 looks good so there we go now I'm gonna give it all right wrong way blue so the way that I for some reason did that is it came out as white so I'll just select clear easy um, I do believe that the frayed blade does uh, bleed damage I'm just gonna google it on my phone real quick so while I'm doing that I'm just gonna talk uh, so at this point you know you've pretty much done all you have to do at this point is you know go in and give a number I'm gonna say you know and you want to keep in mind the colors that you're using against dice we almost always well actually no we always use white for dice so I'll be it orange or anything so yeah so I just googled it it does do bleed so I'm going to do icon sheet where I grab my bleed copy it and throw it oh, back in here so it ends up becoming you know quite a force to be reckoned with in the way that I saw this up you know it has a lot of space so I'm gonna have to condense it a bit about, about there now we'll just grab the two put it in the middle there you go now that's about how you make a, a weapon it's weapons are pretty easy I mean, out of the three items I'm going to show, this probably takes the most amount of time. So we're going to move over to Santa's overcoat. I'm going to just close this. I'm just going to close this to uh, save me some confusion. Overcoat, I mean, it's super classic. 
super classic. With the big, big yellow crown. Oh my god, so classic. I love it. So, what we're gonna do is, again, I've already cleaned it up, and we're just gonna throw it in. For, depending on the armor, you might, you might have some overlapping. If it's overlapping this, you just erase it like it was here. You just erase it. So you could just use your eraser and you know just do that. Uh, this is more prevalent on weapons than armors. Let me just get rid of fix that. <clears throat> but for this, you know, we have plenty of space. And uh, I didn't exactly center this. There we go. So I mean, already you know it's pretty much done. All we have left is uh, fill up. This. So it's gonna be another dodge item. So and it's gonna be, it's gonna be pretty pretty good. So forty. At this point, I mean, there's not much left for you to do. I mean, I want to give it some intelligence and light on faith. So I'm gonna give it twenty four faith, thirty three intelligence, and forty dex zero strength because I'm not going to be putting any defense on this. I'm actually going to be making some really good dodge gear. So we go back to here. And again, you know, we're going to be wanting to use a weird number for dodge. So I'm going to grab this, jump up to here, and just place it over. If you have to uh, make it a little bit bigger, you got to do what you got to do. So change back to black. I'm gonna actually put three here. Like I said, I'm making some uh, some metal weapons here. Metal, metal gear, sorry. So we got three. And that's overcoat. I mean, at this point, you're pretty much done. Actually, at this point, I, I'm almost done. You know, armors, as long as you're not putting any auxiliary effects on them. They're pretty, pretty fast, pretty fast indeed. So again, meta items, you know, meta end game stuff. So we gotta, we gotta go with some, some real, real beefy stuff, giving it two upgrade slots. And this paired with a good weapon or set of weapons, I mean, you're gonna be able to push some, probably six, six dodge with this item now. And I like it. You know, this is Athos Overcoat. Like, armor goes by really fast, but not as fast as our last item, which is going to be rings. Rings are super fast. So, one of the things we're going to do here, like I said, you know, I cleaned it up, but it's not a base. Uh, just for a point of this, you know, I'm going to be using this base. Let's get rid of that. Oh. So for anyone who doesn't know how to do this, you know, for really quick Photoshop to, uh, nice instructions, you're gonna click, click on your quick select and then your layer, and then you're just gonna select what you don't want. You press left, yeah, left alt, and you just start, you know, left clicking on what you wanna keep. Also, you could select it at the top left, plus, adds what you're gonna remove minus keeps but you're not gonna delete so that was kind of confusing and there we go oh, pretty easy get rid of this little thing because that's kind of distracting so now we select layer copy what we want fair and ring back in here and we're gonna make it a little bit smaller put it in the middle look at that we're pretty much done at that point. Again, so it's gonna be an, not a dodge. I was thinking a dodge, you know. Make three three really strong dodge items, but it's gonna actually be a stamina deterrent. So we're gonna put 24, 33 for you know able-bodied. Um put 20, put 17 faith. So I have some weird numbers here. I'm gonna switch to black. I'm gonna put. Oh. So 
skill. What I'm planning for this is it's going to be mirroring what it does in Dark Souls, which is FP is reduced by, I think it was 20 or 30%. I'm just going to put one uh, attacks, cost one less, one less stamina, minimum of one. So we just put that in. To center that as much as we can. Usually for these, I do like selecting, uh, having it centered. Now I found out that uh, Steam Forge likes having it this sized. And then, I mean, look at that, that's fair and rare. So there's also one other way you could do this is you put cost minus one. Uh, I mean, it's really up to you. I prefer putting one less. Look at that, fair and ring. So, I mean, that's that's three items, and you know, when you have it planned out, it goes really, really fast. Close fair and ring now. So I'm gonna be putting this up. Uh, there's one more thing I have to add here, which is actually this little bar, and I'll just do it now for the sake of. Just put it in right there. And I mean, this is basically just how you make items. It's pretty easy, it's pretty fast. Um, but this is just my method. I've been doing this for a while, so it just kind of comes as clockwork to me. Anyways, thanks for another video. I hope, uh, hope this one does as well as the last. And uh, hopefully, there will be another update on what I'm doing soon. Until then, keep it cracking, guys.